It's time for a double dose of chaos here on MTG Unpacked. We're cracking open two chaos mystery boxes for patrons. And with me to do the pack, blessings, we have Tezzeret. So hopefully he will get us the crazy pulls we're looking for. So without further ado, let's introduce the patrons today. We have Eric Polanco and Benjamin Sullivan. Thank you guys for being patrons. Let's roll the die here. So we're gonna go one through five for Eric, and then we'll do one through four for Benjamin. So let's see what we get. We get a one. Okay, so that one will go to Eric. Now one through four for Benjamin. Four, perfect. Okay, so we'll put that over there. And you may notice there is one extra than you would expect since last time. So we had another patron take up one of the last chaos boxes so that video will be coming up soon all right so stay tuned for those other chaos openings let's see what we got for eric today okay so war of the spark kaladesh ether vault we got a tesseract artifice master foil we'll take a look at that in a moment ether vault 2011 Corset and Modern Horizons. So let's do the pack blessings in the traditional manner. We'll do that one last. How about we do something like this? Okay. So let's take a look at the foil today for Eric. We have Tezzeret Artifice Master, Legendary Planeswalker Tezzeret from M19. Five loyalty for five mana. His plus one, create a one one color, stop the artifact creature token with flying. His zero ability, draw a card. If you control three or more artifacts, draw two cards instead. And his minus nine, you get an emblem with at the beginning of your end step. Search your library for a permanent card, put it onto the battlefield, then shovel your library. Some cool falling on that one. All right, so now we will see what we have in the 2011 core set. And these packs are. Oh, I was going to say these packs are tough to open, but not this one apparently. Okay, maybe that's a good sign. We start off here with a Canyon Minotaur Assassinate, Wild Griffin, Augury Owl, Mighty Leap, Giant Growth, Chandra's Outrage, Viscera Seer, Fog, Lava Axe, and Uncommon's Awakener Druid, Angel's Feather, Relentless Rats, yes, I think this one was a good one. Uh, over a buck, I could be mistaken, but I'll check during editing, but I'm going to put it in anyway. And a, uh, holy crap, a mythic Liliana Vest, no way. Whoa, okay, Planeswalker Liliana, five loyalty for five mana. Her plus one target player discards a card, minus two, search your library for a card, then shuffle your library and put that card on top of it. Minus eight, put all creature cards and all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. Insanity, okay. Nice, and a planes. And what is this? Tips about the stack, in case you were curious about that. Okay, that is unbelievable. So these uh, M11 packs came out of a uh, fat pack, or bundle as they call them these days. So that is very impressive, okay. And by the way, the patrons get the rares, mythics, foils, and anything over a buck, so that definitely qualifies. Next pack here, we have Ether Revolt, Caught in the Brights, Precise Strike, Hinterland Drake, High Spire Infusion, Resourceful Return, Druid of the Cow, Iron Tread Crusher, excuse me, Universal Solvent, Night Market Guard, Destructive Tampering, and Uncommons, we have a Gremlin Infestation! Oh no, what are we going to do? We'll have to call the exterminators, I think. Efficient construction, airdrop, aeronauts, and the rare is Solemn Recruit. So this is a creature dwarf warrior 223 with double strike, has revolt at the beginning of your own step if opponent you control, left the battlefield this turn per day, plus one, plus one, counter on Solemn Recruit. Okay, and a swamp, and a thopter token. Moving on to Kaladesh. So no inventions in that Aether Vault, maybe in Kaladesh, I keep holding out hope I'm going to pull one, that's one of those fancy shiny lottery cards they have in these. 
Next we have Spireside Infiltrator Tassel Dromedary. Mind rot! You are rotting your mind watching this channel. What are you doing? You will discard two cards. And the only known cure is to watch even more. Just keep that in mind, people. Next we have Thriving Rhino Rush of Vitality, World Fast Monitor, Welding Sparks, Larger Than Life, Bastion Mastodon, Revoke Privileges, and Uncommon's Voltaic Brawler. Durable Handicraft, Perpetual Timepiece, and the rare is Sahili's Artistry. Sorcery for six, choose one or both. Create a token that's copy of target artifact, or create a token that's copy of target creature, except it's an artifact in addition to its other types. Okay, and an island, and a servo token. So we've got a servo and a thopter. Okay, War of the Spark, looking for planeswalkers. Haven't pulled terribly many Mythic Planeswalkers lately, so we will keep an eye out. Okay, Kazmina's Transmutation, Summit Sprint, War Screecher, Teferi's Time Twist, Primordial Worm, Lazatet Behemoth, Arboreal Grazer, Divine Arrow, Thundering Ceratok, Spellgorger Weird, and Uncommon's Vizier of the Scorpion, Eternal Taskmaster, Davriel Rogue Shadow Mage, that's a good one. And the rare is Roll Reversal. Okay, so I think we're switching up. What is that it's supposed to be? A Goblin and a Sphinx. Exchange control of two target permanents that share a permanent type. Okay, not the craziest pool, however. An island and a zombie army. And instantly that uh, Liliana Vess, Liliana will be the theme for the Chaos Boxes next month. You heard it here first. Well, actually, you heard it here second because the patrons already knew, but that is going to be very fun next month. Okay, next we have an Ether Chaser, Leave in the Dust, Conviction, Shock, Resourceful Return, Lifecraft Cavalry, Res Reservoir Walker, Distractive Tampering, Filigree Crawler, and Uncommon's Cogwork Assembler, Ironclad Revolutionary, Lifecraft Awakening, and the rare is Yehenny's Expertise. Sorcery for four. All creatures get minus three, minus three until end of turn. You may cast a card with converted mana cost three or less from your hand without paying its mana cost. Very nice. And a swamp. And, oh, okay, we've got an extra... Oh, that's a foil. Okay, foil swamp. A bit hard to see the foiling on that one. And a mountain and an energy reserve. Okay, for a second there I thought we might have had uh, a invention, but alas, it was not to be. Modern Horizons up next. Well, let's dig in. And who's looking forward to Throne of Eldrain? That's uh, the hype is off the charts as usual. So let's see, there's going to be, that's pretty much the channel will turn into Throne of Eldraine uh, on the release time. So what do we have here? Foil Bear, not bad. And no idea what that is. That is Mirrodin Besieged, okay. I'll put that in as well. Snow Covered Forest. And the rare is Genesis, Creature Incarnation 4-4 for 5 mana. Beginning of your upkeep, if Genesis is in your graveyard, you may pay two and a green if you do return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. And uncommons, we have Cunning Evasion, Exclude, Conifer Worm, and then the commons, a regular cohort, Cave of Temptation, Spring Bloom Druid, Rank Officer, Knight of Old Benalia, Changeling Outcast, Treetop Ambusher, Goblin Champion! Creature Goblin Warrior, 0-1 for a single red, nice to see the goblins! Reprobation and Choking Tethers. Alright, so some tasty pulls here today. Especially that uh, Relentless Rats, that is a fan- Okay, just kidding. The Lilianaverse, definite highlight here. So you get Planeswalkers up the wazoo here for Eric. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Okay, moving right along, Benjamin Sullivan. So now that Eric has taken all the good pulls, I guess there'll be nothing left. 
Unless Tezzeret can get us something equally tasty. So we shall see. Fingers crossed. What do we get? War of the Spark. Two of those. Okay, Aether Revolt. Tezzeret the Seeker Foil. Corset 2019, 2011 corset and Modern Horizons. Okay, Tezzeret, do your thing, sir. Okay, let's move this aside. Again, keep that till last. We'll go with that. Uh, I'd like to do this in the middle. And like I always say, we're going to eat the vegetables first. But before we do that, we need to take a look at this foil. Okay, Tezzeret the Seeker, Planeswalker Tezzeret, 4 loyalty for 5 mana, so this guy is from Modern Masters 2015, I think it's a reprint. He's plus 1 untap, up to 2 target artifacts, minus X, search a library for an artifact card with convert mana cost X or less and put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library and minus 5 artifacts you control, become artifact creatures with base power and toughness, 5-5 five, five until end of turn. Alright, so another Tezzeret today. Pop him back in the sleeve, if I can figure out how. Okay, now we're eating our vegetables. What is your most disliked vegetable? Do you like Brussels sprouts? Do you like broccoli? If not, leave it out in the comments. Okay, Goblin Motivator, there we are. Starting off with a bit of motivation from the Goblin's trusty pack beast, Epicure of Blood. Bristling Boar, Snapping Drake. Gearsmith Guardian, Druid of the Cow, Smelt, Lich's Caress, Gallant Cavalry, and Uncommon's Phantom of Renewal, Lightning Strike, Regal Bloodlord, and the rare is Leonin Warleader, Creature Cat Soldier 4 4 for 4 mana. Whenever Leonin Warleader attacks, create 2 1 1 white cat creature tokens with life link that are tapped and attacking. And a Highland Lake and a Thopter token. Onward, War of the Spark. Let's see, looking for the mythics here, Tezzeret. We have no escape. Grim Initiate, Makeshift Battalion, Kaya's Ghost Form, Snare Spinner, Centaur, Nurture, Iron Bully, Erratic Visionary, Enforcer Griffin, Lazatet Reaver, and Uncommon's Cruel Celebrant. Jace's Triumph, Rally of Wings, and a rare Teferi Time Raveler! Fantastic pull, okay. Legendary Planeswalker Teferi, 4 loyalty for 3. Each opponent can cast spells only any time they could cast a sorcery. Use plus 1 until your next turn, you may cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Minus 3, return up to 1 target artifact creature or... or artifact creature or enchantment to its owner's hand. That's a mouthful. Draw a card. Okay, so it's not a mythic, but still, I'll take a to ferry any day of the week. And a planes and a devil token. Okay, we are doing nicely for Benjamin already. Next up, Aether Revolt. Hopefully it won't be revolting. Okay, we have Hinterland Drake, Bastion Enforcer, Chandra's Revolution, Cruel Finality, Unbridled Growth. Ali Strangler, Augmenting Automaton, Implement of Combustion, Ice Over, and Uncommon's Deadeye Harpooner, Daredevil Dragster, Sly Requisitioner, and the rare is Peacewalker Colossus. Artifact Vehicle 6-6 six, six for 3 mana, so you pay 1 and a white, another target vehicle you control becomes artifact creature until end of turn, and you can crew it for 4. And a foil renegade map with an island and an ad here for magic jewels. Did you play that back in the day? Leave a note in the comments. Which reminds me, I need to play some arena soon. It's been a while. 2011 core set. Let's dig into it. And I never did progress through the mastery tree. Is that something you did for core set 2020? I'm a little annoyed with myself, but... It just wasn't the time. Okay, Assassinate, Lanawar Elves, Assault Griffin, Rotting Legion. Oh, that is creepy. Silvercoat Lion, Chandra's Outrage, Aether Adept, Demolish, Unsummon, 
Disentomb and Uncommons Pyroclasm, Wall of Frost, Liliana's Caress, stay away from her, she will hose you, and the rare is Vengeful Archon, or Archon, how do you say that? Creature Archon, 7-7-4, seven, 7 four, seven mana, I think it's Archon, with Flying Pay X, prevent the next X damage that will be dealt to you this turn, if damage is prevented this way, Vengeful Archon deals that much damage to target player. Flying Lions, fantastic, and a mountain. And what is this? This is a tip about the Gather a Card database, which is decent, I'll give it that, but I prefer using Scryfall these days. Much more useful, in my opinion. Next up, War of the Spark. So we did pretty well from that first pack. This time we would like a Mythic, please, Tezzeret. We have Ashiok Skulker, Honor the God Pharaoh, Rising Populace. Stealth Mission, Ward Scale Croc, he'll bite your arm off, watch out for him. Oh wait, no, this guy, sorry, this guy bites your whole body off. I got my crocs mixed up, Dusk Mantle Operative, Thundering Ceratop, Nahiri's Stone Blades, Tamio's Epiphany, Bane Hound, Uncommon's Bond of Discipline, Vizier of the Scorpion, Emergent Zone, and a Jace, Wielder of Mysteries. Here he is, Legendary Planeswalker Jace, 4 loyalty for 4 mana. If you draw a card while your library has no cards in it, you win the game instead. His plus 1, target player puts top 2 cards of their library into their graveyard, draw a card, his minus 8, draw 7 cards, and if your library has no cards in it, you win the game. So this is a great self-mill card. Have you pulled that off and won many games? Leave a note in the comments. And a mountain and a zombie army. Okay, final pack here. We are looking for Ren and Stimpy, Tezzeret. I would like to see Ren and Stimpy today. Foil, preferably. Thank you, sir. We have a bird token. Lightning Skelemental. Love that artwork. Snow-covered island. And we're going to slow roll it, people, like always. So we have our uncommons. Yep, no foil today, alas. Okay, we have a Lancer Sliver, Return from Extinction, Crosan Tusker, Iceberg Cancrix, Mob, Thornado, Ransack the Lab, Bogarden Dragonheart, Stirring Address, and Phantasmal Form. Okay, so nothing crazy there. And we'll take a look at the Uncons. Up next we have Shatter Assumptions, Abominable Tree Folk. And Valiant Changeling. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And the rare is Hall of Heliod's Generosity Legendary Land. Tap to add color spanner, pay one and white. Tap, put target and chump card from your graveyard on top of your library. Thanks for watching and have a great day.